Hi, right, good evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to our regular scheduled council meeting for November 20th, 2023, 6 p.m. at Shell House. Uh, good evening, administrators, council, and our audience members. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Ms. Burner, if you'd call a roll, please. Sure, Mayor Lowry. Here. Vice Mayor Grimm. He's on his way. He's on his way. All right, Councilman Bond. Here. Councilwoman Eggleston. Here. Councilman Cook. Here. Councilman Lindsay. Here. Councilman Roadwald. Here. Six members present. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Mr. Grimm is on his way. So, um, moving on, um, Mr. Uh, I'm sorry, Chief, would you care for the invitation this evening? Well, the Lord, we thank you for the day and all thy many blessings and many favors. Lord, please keep thy hand upon our city. In this meeting, let thy perfect will be done. Bless our first responders, our troops, and their families. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 The court allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> All right, uh, moving on, we'll need to uh, go to the minutes for the 11 6 regular meeting. I move. No, I'm going to, they're, they're not in the packet this week. We'll vote on those the next time. Okay. Same with 12 4. Same as 12 4. The, we'll vote for 11 6 mm -hmm. and 11 20 on 12 4. Okay. All right, and then I will. Mr. Bridge. Thank you. Um, Council, I need uh, a following motion to be made. There are two mistakes on the agenda that, need, that does need to be corrected. Um, so the first one would be on the agenda, resolution 2023.18R. That is actually a two read resolution, which is unlike the majority of our resolutions. So that will actually be introduced tonight and voted on at the 12-4-23 meeting. The second correction we need to make is within the body of resolution 2023-19R, and that is to add city administration staff to those who are getting the bonuses uh, listed with the water, wastewater, and streets department. All right. So, council. Second. Second. So, motion by Mr. Lindsay, second by Mr. Roadwall. All right, when you're ready. Mayor Lowry. Yes. Councilman Bond. <coughs> yes. Councilwoman Eggleston? Yes. Councilman Cook? Yes. Councilman Lindsay? Yes. Okay. Councilman Roadwell? Yes. Passes 6 0. Thank you. All right. Moving down to communications tonight. Uh, obviously, some of you that are regulars. I uh, noticed there's a large crowd tonight. The majority of these people back here behind you are a lot of our, not all of them, but a lot of our city workers, employees, hourly employees, full-time employees. So uh, I wanted to invite them here tonight uh, to let them know that the city is closing down and we can't have a dumb joke. But anyways, Bob, you can have your vacation. <laughs> so no, I, uh, I really wanted to, you know, before I, uh, head out at the end of the year. I really wanted to thank you guys for everything you guys do. You guys are, you know, the, the backbone of the city. You guys do the, the hard work. Uh, you know, you guys see pictures sometimes on Facebook of where uh, some of the guys are out in these uh, pits, you know, when a water main breaks and it's, you know, 10 degrees and they've got ice off their beard or, you know, they're doing, uh, you know, work at the pool with a water plant, the waste, or they're, you know, they're having, you know, issues at the city building dealing with, you know, customers and things of that nature. Uh, you guys, uh, you guys don't always. You don't. You don't want to be per se the the group that's in the public eye. You know, you're not an elected official because you're smarter than that. Um, <laughs> but but sometimes you get drug into those situations unfairly, and it's not. You know, it's not really. You know, something that you should have to deal with. But when those when those times come, you know, we try to stick up for you guys the best we can because we know that you guys do a superb job for the city. We appreciate everything you guys do. Um, you know, we couldn't do it without you guys. I mean, we also, we obviously couldn't do it without city council itself and the administration who, who uh, you know, does all the fine tuning in the city building to make things work and, and move smoothly. Uh, but, you know, you guys are the ones who get called on Christmas because a water alarm goes off or a water main breaks or, you know, a million other things that the, the, the citizens, I think, don't, you know, realize because, you know, they turn on the faucet or water's coming out. 
that's all they know. You know, they, they don't think that, you know, someone has to go down there when an alarm goes off or, uh, you know, or a main breaks and they're out there on Christmas missing time with their family or, you know, whatever it may be. So you guys do such a wide range of stuff that I wanted to make sure you guys know that you were appreciated for everything you do. Uh, you know, we couldn't run without you guys and that's you know, why you're here. So uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to call you guys up and then if you could stand behind me and I think I've got them all sorted out for who's here and who's not and then uh, come up and we'll read this together. So let me get these out. Oh. Uh, Angela's not here. Unless she walked in, I didn't see her. Uh, Dave Cohen, come up please. Scott Strayer, long time employee of the city. I feel like it. <laughs> 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 Mr. Hoke. Let's see, Ryan Williams. No, he's here. He's in his camo hat, so it's hard to see. <laughs> Let's see, Kyle, Ray, Greg, another long time employee, thank you, sir. Tracy, Normally we do just one of these for the book. Yeah, come this way, because we're going to center it up for a good picture. Victoria. Carrie. This should be Sarah's. And I know I've got, so I think someone else. Jerry, did I forget anybody else? Okay. So I'll read off of this one. So if you guys could, I know there's a lot of you. And Randy, once we're done, if you don't mind, I'd love to get a picture of everybody. So I will read this out loud. So, Office of the Mayor Proclamation, a proclamation for the appreciation of the City of New Carlisle hourly employees. Whereas the City of New Carlisle employees are dedicated and committed to public service to perform their jobs with professionalism, compassion, and, and pride. And whereas serving our citizens is a noble calling involving a wide variety of challenging and rewarding tasks, including maintaining public safety and services, improving our transportation conditions, assisting visitors at the city building, protecting our resources and performing other activities which are essential to the efficient and effective operations of our city. And whereas the city of New Carlisle strives to inform our citizens about the quality of our people and their commitment to high ethical standards and the value of the services they perform to increase the satisfaction of those who are being served. And whereas making this proclamation provide an opportunity for all citizens of our community to pay tribute to the pro profession and spirit of public service and to express our deep appreciation for the contributions the city employees make to our daily lives. Now, therefore, I, my father, Mayor City of New Carlisle, how do you hereby proclaim the week of November 20, 2003, New Carlisle's Appreciation Week. So, thank you guys all for everything you do. We can't thank you guys enough. So, thank you. you guys are I think I'll take a picture. Yeah, just Yeah. He's tall enough. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah. I don't want to be just directly in front of him. Stay right in the middle. We're going by height. Yeah, you yeah. lose. Yeah. He can't even have no control with that. All right. One, two, three. Cheese. 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 Cheese.
I'm not used to wearing a tie. 74. <laughs> That's what he had it on. What did he have it on? 74. You would hate being on the house. Our house is at 74. It was, on, it was only 71 when I got in here earlier. <laughs> My house stays at 68. I would be freezing. <laughs> you have a lock on your thermostat? That's what it is. <laughs> no, you just, we don't what tell you the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to blame the traffic. <laughs> All four blocks. Please be cold. And yes, I didn't mention the true profession of watering flowers. I didn't want to leave Tracy out. <laughs> but Tra yeah, Tracy, seriously, the parks have looked great. The flowers, my oh, I, I, every time I go over the summer, every time I went to my parents' mm -hmm. house, my mom was just raving about the job you guys done on the flower pots and how great they look. So mm -hmm. they look great. So good job. I, Mr. Mayor, sir, I, I saw Tracy out there multiple times watering the flowers <laughs> and uh, asked him if that was his only job. He said he wished. <laughs> Might be the most important. All right. Let's see. So moving on to city manager's report. Mr. Bridge, I'll hand it over to you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, members of council, members of public, city staff, members of administration. Uh, this is the city manager report for the month of October. Um, with the exception of the planning and zoning report, that time period is November 1st through the 16th. So we'll start with the planning and zoning and mayor's court report. So a quick summary in the planning department, uh, 38 total violations, 16 total properties violation, violated. You had three average violations per property, um, 18 closed violations, and then two prop, uh, properties submitted to mayor's court. So we'll see them in the report here probably in the next couple weeks. And then six extensions were granted. Um, any questions on anything with the planning department report or mayor's court report, just let me know. And we'll move on with the police report. And they had, excuse me for one second, 380 calls taken. There were 44 reports taken, uh, 60 assists, seven criminal arrests, one felony arrest, four misdemeanor arrests, two warrants, 60 traffic stops. And as we know, we'll have a ordinance to add that six deputy and we'll have that probably next council meeting for the intro. Any questions on the police report? Council. Well, thank you, sir. Great. And moving on to city manager report, our fire report with fire chief, chief trustee. Council citizens, uh, for the month of October, the New Carlisle Fire Division responded to 117 EMS calls in the city. The division responded to 12 fire-related calls in the city. The division responded to 12 service of good intent calls in the city. Our run count as, as of today has gone up since the report was made. It is now 1,355 calls so far for the year. We had four EMS calls answered by uh, mutual aid by either Pike Township or Bethel Clark due to uh, medical fitting to being on a response. We answered two mutual aid calls for Pike Township and four mutual aid calls for Bethel Clark. Uh, we still have three smoke alarms. They are a combination of smoke CO detector alarms. Uh, all you have to do is call the station or come by and we, we will come out and put them in for you or just give them to you to put in. Well, thank you, Chief. Council, any questions for the fire chief this evening? All right, thank you, Chief, for the report. We appreciate it, sir. Thank you, Fire Chief. And moving on to City Manager Report, our Finance Report with Finance Director, Ms. Harris. Thank you, Mr. Bridge, Council, and members of the public. Our October financial report, we took in $603,163.86 for the month of October, and that brings that total for the year at $8,573,816.88. On the expenditures for the month of October, we spent $604,495.27 for a year-to-date total of $7,563,751.80. 
Our ending uh, statement of cash balance at the end of October is seven million six hundred twenty-four thousand two hundred fourteen dollars and nine cents. The October reconciliations are done and complete. On the monthly net income tax um, for the month of October, we brought one hundred forty-five thousand one hundred fifty-two dollars and forty-four cents. And it is still running a little over, almost five and a half percent above the revenue from last year at this time. On the mayor's court report for October, they brought in between fines and court costs $4,567.50. That's my overview, and I'll entertain any questions. Council, any questions for Ms. Harris this evening? Move to accept the finance report. Second. Motion by Ms. Eggleston, second by Mr. Lindsay to accept the report. Councilman Roadwald? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Vice Mayor Grimm? Yes. Councilman Bond? Yes. Councilwoman Eggleston? Yes. Councilman Cook? Yes. Councilman Lindsay? Yes. Pass the 7 0. Mr. Mayor, move to accept the report. Second. Motion by Mr. Vice Mayor, I think second by Mr. Lindsay. Okay. Oh, yeah, the wrong word that came out. <laughs> Councilman Roadwald? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Vice Mayor Grimm? Yes. Councilman Bond? Yes. Councilman Eggleston? Yes. Councilman Cook? Yes. Councilman Lindsay? Yes. Pass the 7 0. Thank you. <coughs> and thank you, Ms. Harris. Moving on with our city manager report, our service report with uh, Mr. Kiko, our assistant city manager. Thank you, Mr. Bridge, Mayor, members of the council, members of the public. Um, under Public Works Department, we have our leaf pickup, which is underway. Um, the flyer with the map is on the city's webpage and was also delivered in a quarterly newsletter. Um, that has been going fairly well. We, there's been a lot of leaves uh, down, so the guys are doing a good job of getting that. We've got to do a minor repair to our leaf machine um, probably tomorrow, but we'll be back up and running hopefully shortly. Uh, installation of the second story walk project will be starting at Lake Avenue. Been working with the library on um, a few things. Uh, probably in the next week or two, I got to uh, confirm a water and sewer force main that we have close there. Just make sure that we're not going to be um, installing these. We won't hit them, but they may be close enough to where if we got to get in and do a repair, these will be in the way. Um, underwater department, um, private well inspections have been going well. They're working on scheduling some additional ones to get those finished up uh, here soon. And we'll have hit everybody in the city that has had a, uh, that has a private well. Um, they're continuing to perform some general repairs throughout the plant. And then uh, we do have our finalization on our OPWC old high service pump building upgrade project. We'll be working on getting an engineer um, involved to get the old high service building on some uh, variable frequency drives, which has uh, really helped our system. Uh, it appears to not have as many main breaks as we, you know, once have. So, you know, knock on wood that, you know, stays pretty good. Um, lead service of water main replacement project uh, in the old section of town. So uh, Mr. Bridge and I will be uh, scoring the single engineer that we got a statement of qualifications from. Once I get that done, you'll see legislation before you for an agreement to have this uh, engineer start design. And that when we were talking in the budget work session, that was at 250000 Hopefully they can come in underneath that and give us a little bit of wiggle room on design. But it is a pretty uh, big project. Under sewer department, <coughs> excuse me, second clarifier number one and primary clarifier number two have been completed. We went through the uh, startup process. And as far as I know, we haven't had any issues. We do have a one year um, performance bond on those. So if there's anything that happens, we also have a warranty on those for one year on some of the major components. Plan expansion study. Um, at the time of the report, it was nearing completion, which it, it still is, but we did get our study, uh, first draft of our near completed study um, today. So Carrie, who just left, uh, we'll review that. And then we have a meeting next week with the engineer to go over the final statement of what we want this, how we want this statement to be, and you know what the future will be in the next five years on how that wastewater plant will expand. Clark County and uh, various resurfacing projects. Uh, Falcon Drive is complete. All the manholes and water valves have been adjusted. Um, working with the contractor on ADA ramps for this spring. And like I said, well, I think we'll be able to do more as we had spoke with the budget meeting on adding some more dollars for road uh, repair. 
Fenwick Drive reconstruction phase two, that is complete except for manhole adjustments. Uh, we did have a rain here recently, so I was able to go up there and make sure we didn't have any bird bass and everything was draining fine. So uh, real smooth and uh, everybody seems to be pretty happy. Um, let's see, additional items. We're still working on the P sidewalk. Uh, we will be finishing up our review of the data of the 235 uh, curve study. And then I have uh, listed uh, three, four or four items on Gov deals as a, um, basically it's a soft start where, you know, I can see them and keep editing them. And then there'll be legis le legislation before you um, here soon that will have the couple other pieces of equipment that we need to add. And that is all, I'm, all I have on my report. I can entertain any questions on the report or anything else. Council, any questions for Mr. Kitka this evening? All right, thank you very much, Mr. Kitko. We appreciate the update and report, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, Mr. Kitko. Moving on to city manager report, got a few informational items I'd like to discuss with council. So under updates, we have Rumkey. So I'll be meeting with Rumkey. I have the executed contract here. I'll be meeting with them to drop that off. Also securing the performance bond. Bond. Our call, all carts have been dropped off in, in their initial drop off. However, we did have a lot of people, residents, business owners who got carts who never should have been dropped off a cart. So we have been fielding a lot of phone calls. Uh, they're at the city building. I was taking a lot over the weekend regarding that. Uh, a lot of seniors just got the big carts and they're supposed to get small ones. So it caused a lot of confusion. Um, Rumkey has been really responsive to our uh, needs to uh, have them changed. So um, if it becomes uh, any more of an issue than what it is, I'll definitely update council, but it seems to be hopefully starting to alleviate itself. And we expected some sort of hiccup during this transition. Um, so that was to be expected. But again, if it starts to get a little bit uh, any, any worse, I'll definitely advise council. Um, Rite Aid, there's really no imperative updates on Rite Aid. We have still not been able to get a hold of anyone regarding the sale of that building. I have the realtor who's working, who sold us the 101 building, help us out with that. Um, so we're going to continue on hitting that um, as, as much as we can and any updates I will share with council. Um, I don't know if it's just held up in the foreclosure process with them or what, but uh, definitely there's no for sale signs and commercial realtors do not know about it. Um, swimming pool, um, we will be hitting that ground uh, pretty hard run. I mean, how we will um, after the holidays. We would like to meet with a, develop, uh, a guy who uh, develops and designs uh, swimming pools. Um, and then we will report back to council with that since we were tasked with, you know, uh, trying to determine how much it's going to cost to get a new pool. Um, Nature Work Grant, as I mentioned in the work session, we did go ahead and get the approval to switch it back to the gazebo. So I am going to be signing that MOU um, more than likely tomorrow. I wanted to update you guys in an official formal meeting. Um, so that looks like it has been accepted and we'll work with Howie and the pool, uh, the pool department, uh, street department, uh, and whoever all the respectable departments to get that project completed. Um, Addison New Carlisle Road, uh, say, uh, Route 235 cut through. This is for the Arbor Homes development. I did meet with the property owners last week. Um, they are willing to uh, negotiate, uh, to entertain an offer. So I will be moving forward and trying to find a good market value of that parcel of land and then uh, presenting an offer to them. Before I do anything formally, it'll be a uh, pass through council, but I will be starting the process on that. I'm glad to hear they are uh, willing to uh, negotiate an offer because we do think that cut through is the best way for that to be um, designed and safest for all involved. Uh, McDonald's, so planning board update on that. They had their meeting um, last week. They did tentatively approve the conditional use permit. One of the things they want them to look at, them meaning McDonald's, is McDonald's had developed a site plan to where their handicap parking is actually across the parking lot. So if you're in a wheelchair or in a, any kind of handicapped kind of status, you literally have to walk across the parking lot to get to the building. And they have their mobile order pickup sitting next to the building. Planning board simply just wants them to switch the two. So they, have no, they don't have an answer yet. They have to look at the grading, where that is going to go to see if it's feasible. If it is feasible, they're going to just pass it on through. Um, but you guys will be looking at that site plan as soon as we have a, a formal site plan that indicates those changes. Um, so that could be at the next meeting. That's what we're shooting for. If not, hopefully the second meeting in December. But that final site plan approval will be coming through council uh, here before hopefully the year's end. Um, Board of Zoning Appeals application was received. So we do have one application. His name is David Peters. He's a highly qualified applicant. He has spoke at some of the planning board meetings. He has a, a bachelor degree in urban planning, went to Miami University in Oxford. 
So he is a citizen. He is interested. Um, I told him uh, how much they, how many members it needs to have a quorum to meet. So he's going to try to recruit some other citizens so that board can be taken off council and given to citizens. I'm going to email that application to council tomorrow so you guys have that on record. Do you want to go ahead and interview him, or do you want to wait till there's more interest for them to even meet? So he needs at least two more for them to be able to meet. I would wait. I would wait. Wait. Okay. Um, we'll wait. Either way. Either, either way, I mean, but I guess if we interviewed him and had him ready and we it, it, he passed an interview, then it's just a matter of getting people involved, right? Mm -hmm. Versus him waiting around wondering if he would be a good fit or not. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I can go either way, I guess. Mr. Lonsley? Well, they need three on that board, correct? Mm-hmm. I just say, wait till we have three. If he can recruit two more, then interview all three at the same time and, and basically interview them. If we like them, we appoint them. You know. There you go. And it takes one out, doesn't the other? Yeah. It, I'll at least write him a letter, communicate with him. Okay. That we, uh, that council knows of his application, and um, we'll wait until we get some other applicants. Okay. Thank you. No, no problem. Um, upcoming legislation. Uh, the list of upcoming legislation, uh, two of the important ones is the sh uh, sheriff contract for the sixth deputy. Again, that's going to be first read 12 4, second read 12 18. That does put the effective date a little bit past January, but it usually does, so there's no worries with that. They're great to work with. And then gov deals for the unneeded city property that still needs to go on. Um, Congratulations to those newly elected and re-elected city council members. So, uh, Vice Mayor Del Grimm, Councilwoman Peggy Eagleson, pleasure to work with you. It's been great so far. Looking forward to the next four years. And then also with Kathy Wright and Chris Yammy. Uh Chris Yammy, welcome back. And then Mrs. Wright, well, glad to work with you as well. Clark County public health update that is attached. So please, council, take a look at that if you haven't already. And I don't have additional d discussion topics. So um, that is what I have for my monthly report. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Council, any questions for Mr. Bridge before we move on? <coughs> Mr. Vice Mayor. Uh, the Addison cut through. Mm -hmm. We have a ballpark cost of cutting off and building the cut through. I don't have. That's what I'm going to start on next. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, sir. <coughs> you, Mr. Lindsay. Nice suit. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Anyone else? All right, moving on to uh, committee reports on the night. Next would be comments from members of the public. If you have any uh, questions, comments, feedback, all the above, please go to the podium and give me your name and address. All right, thank you. And moving on, Ms. Burner, if you would, please. Uh, yes, resolutions. All right. Resolution 2023-18R, Introduction Tonight, Public Hearing and Action on 12-4-23. A resolution amending the New Carlisle City Council Rules of Council. We have Resolution 2023-19R, Introduction, Public Hearing and Action Tonight. A resolution approving lump sum bonuses to certain employees of New Carlisle. Mr. Bridge. Mr. Bridge. What? <laughs> well, I'm just lost because the first one you read says action tonight, and then you went to the next one. The, that's why you, we just changed the rules to amend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we amended that earlier. That's right. Okay. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. You. Ma, yeah. I thought there was something wrong with this one. Addition, like no, we're not. Okay, so we're on, 20, <laughs> we're on 2319R. Correct. Yeah. Okay, so I need a motion. I want to. Second. Second. Okay, yeah. so motion by Mr. Cook, second by Mr. Rodin. Well, I apologize. No, no, you're good. It's just like that. Not like <laughs> yeah, that's my, just having bad. a heat flash now because I'm like, man, my miss is gone. No. Uh, Mr. Bridge, did you want to? Oh, we got first and second. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah, okay. So, special needs of this uh, resolution, uh, council wanted to give um, certain employees um, bonuses for the year. So, basically, every employee we have in our water, wastewater, street department, city administration building, if you're in the union, we'll get a $200 bonus and we'll be issuing those, um, I think at the next paycheck or at the Christmas party, Ms. Harris? Um, as soon as we can get it finalized, it, we're hoping next payroll. Great, so next it's payroll. Two weeks. And then 2,000 of that is also going to be given to the fire and EMS department. And then fire chief will have his discretion on who he gives those bonuses to. Um, and those will be, um, who worked more hours will be receiving larger shares. Thank you, Mr. Lindsay. 
the bonus checks, are they going to be a separate check or on the payroll of the next payroll? Nope. We're going to run them separate. separate. Okay. And, and they'll be taxed. Right. Well, I knew they'd be taxed. Uh, and they'll go out uh, prior to Christmas, correct? It's probably going to be in the next two weeks, which two would weeks. be the okay. next payroll. So that it's two weeks before. Right. Thank Christmas. you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Lindsay. Anyone else? Um, Do you have something, Mr. Cook? No. All right. When you're ready, Ms. Burner. All right. Mayor Lowry. Yes. I'm zero. Vice Mayor Grimm. A definite yes, and thank you. Councilman Bond. Uh, no. But it's not because I don't appreciate you guys. Councilwoman Eggleston. Yes. Councilman Cook. Yes. Councilman Lindsay. Yes. Councilman Roadwald. Yes. That passes six to one. Thank you. Moving on to resolution 2023-20R, introduction public hearing in action tonight. A resolution authorizing the city manager to enter into a memorandum of understanding with the Board of Clark County Commissioners and the Clark County Emergency Management Agency. Second. Second. Motion by Mr. Lindsay, second by Ms. Eggleston. Uh, explanation of this resolution. Uh, we've had a long, great relationship with Clark County EMA. Uh, periodically, we have to do these equipment sharing agreements. Um, so this is basically an updated version of one we probably had in the past, uh, but it is basically just to set some parameters about equipment sharing. Chief, do you have anything you want to add to this? No, it's just based like the, Mr. Bridge said, just like emergencies, like when the granary fell, um, we had their trailer, command trailer out here for a week. That type of thing. They also uh, let us uh, use uh, their radios during the parish flight festival, things like that. Any questions, Council? Go ahead. Yep. The second was Eggleston, correct? Yes. Okay. Councilman Cook? Yes. Councilman Lindsay? Yes. Councilman Roadwald? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Vice Mayor Grimm? Yes. Councilman Bond? Yes. Councilwoman Eggleston? Yes. That passes 7 0. Moving on to our ordinances. Mr. Vice Mayor, just a second. Obviously, I missed something about my tardiness. Oh, the, uh, oh did I not call your name? Oh, no. no. You okay. You Sorry. Okay. Would you like me to repeat yes. what I said earlier? Well, you're talking about the very the first one. Yeah. The very first one before we did the proclamation. Anytime you change rules of council, it's a two resolution read. So if you look at the resolution, it says action next week. It, it was my mistake because most of our resolutions are one. So we just needed to change that to say introduce today, vote on it. Okay, four. thank you. No problem. Okay, good now. Yep. Ordinance 2023-58. This was introduced on November 6th. Public hearing in action tonight. An ordinance accepting the annexation of 79.13 acres, more or less, from Bethel Township, Clark County, to the city of New Carlisle. Second. Motion by Mr. Lindsay, second by Mr. Rogal. I got you. Uh, explanation of this ordinance. This follows the flow chart as established by the Harbor Vice Code when we annex land into our city. So we have the pre-annexation pre agreement we did back in January. That gets us off to the county. The county reviews it. They approve it. Then it sends back to us to accept it. And that's what we're doing tonight. Council, any questions for Mr. Bridge? When you're ready, Ms. Burner. Um, Mayor Lowry. Yes. Vice Mayor Grimm. Yes. Councilman Bond. Yes. Councilman Eggleston. Yes. Councilman Cook. Yes. Councilman Lindsay. Yes. Councilman Roadwald. Yes. Passes 7-0. Mm -hmm. Ordinance 2023-59. This was introduced on November 6th. Public hearing in action tonight. An ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract for city employee health insurance. <laughs> so moved. Second. And explanation of this ordinance, this is a yearly housekeeping ordinance that we do. So anytime that we renew our health insurance, we have to put it through council. It is over my monetary authority to spend in a given year or a given uh, subject matter. Um, before they vote, and I will say this, and I tell council this all the time, but we're all, most of us are here. The insurance they provide us is really, really, really good. And we just want to say we thank you for that because it really does do us a, a longevity, especially with my heart attack, how much it paid for. So uh, I know it's not cheap to the city, but what it gives us in return is phenomenal. So we do. I, I, I personally thank you, and I'm sure everyone else thanks you as well. All right. Thank you. Any discussion, council, on that? All right. When you're ready, please. All right. Councilman Roadwald. 
Yes. Mayor Lowry. Yes. Vice Mayor Grimm. Yes. Councilman Bond. Yes. Councilman Eggleston. Yes. Councilman Cook. Yes. Councilman Lindsay. Yes. That's seven zero uh, Eggleston. 2023 ordinance 2023 60. This was introduced on November 6th. Public hearing and action tonight. An ordinance approving an employment agreement with Randy Bridge. So moved. Second. Uh, motion by Mr. Lindsay, second by Mr. Roadwall. An explanation of this ordinance. Uh, this is uh, to approve a contract for my employment. Right. Any questions or comments on that, Mr. Council? I do have a question. Mr. For the audience, if I may, sir. Sure. If anybody in the audience wants to get rid of you, now's your time. <laughs> Just raise your hand or laugh. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Right. Of course, I'm joking. All right. Uh, when you're ready. All right. Mayor Lowry. Yes. Vice Mayor Grimm. Yes. Councilman Bond. No. Councilman Eggleston. Yes. Councilman Cook. No. Councilman Lindsay? Yes. Councilman Roadwald? Resounding yes. That passes five to two. Moving on, the next. We're on 61, correct? Yep. All right, so all the rest are just read only. Ordinance 2023 61, introduction tonight, public hearing in action on December 4th, 2023, annual appropriations ordinance. Ordinance 2023-62, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on December 4th, 2023, and ordinance amending section 210.02 of the codified ordinances of the city of New Carlisle regarding special meetings of city council. Ordinance 2023-63, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on December 4th, 2023, and ordinance amending the city of New Carlisle income tax rules and regulations. Ordinance 2023-64, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on <coughs> December 4th, 2023, an ordinance amending the sections of Chapter 881 of the Codified Ordinances that pertain to procedures for net profit taxes. Ordinance 2023-65, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on December 4th, 2023, an ordinance authorizing the city manager or the director of public service assistant city manager to enter into a contract for the purchase of water softening rock salt. Mm -hmm. Want to read other business? No, no, take a break, I got it. Okay. Other business, Christmas tree lighting ceremony will be Friday. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, ceremony Friday, December 1st at 7 p.m. Christmas parade, December 2nd at 10 a.m. Santa arrives by plane at the New Paul Airport at 9.30 a.m. Uh, meet Mr. and Mrs. Claus at the fire station after the parade. Uh, so thank you to uh, all those on the uh, Christmas Parade Committee and I uh, handle all those events. And thanks to the folks out of the Newcastle for, for allowing us to take the land. So, any other discussion, Council? Ms. Eggleston. Um, I had someone ask me if it would be possible when they speak to us at a meeting where they have to give their address. Mm -hmm if it would be possible to show ID showing their address prior so that they don't have to put their address out on YouTube. Well, I know that it has to be part of a legal, it's part of the legal meet minutes, but. Oh. How does it give their name? Do we have to make them give their address? I always thought, well, well we it's have. been done that way since I was little. It's, it's part of the public meeting request. Well, then how is him not give, saying, oh, okay. You have to give the name Would I still address. print it in the minutes? Yeah. 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 I don't know how that works. Well, so. wanna have, we could have Mr. Mr. Jeffries look into that if council would like. And then get back to it, please. Yeah. I'll sit down and talk to Jake about it for sure. That's an interesting, interesting, see what the results are, to be honest with you. They didn't want their address blasted all over YouTube. I don't know what's right. Address. All right. Yeah, we can look into it. Other rules don't say that, do they? The rules of council, do they say have to, the speakers have to give their address? I have to go back and look. I mean, but it's just we'll be looking at it well soon anyway. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, and this may be for Howie or Mr. Bridge. Um, you guys were going to check on additional speed limit signs for Smith Street. Yeah, they they already have the signs. They're getting ready to uh, put those up. 
Okay. We're putting a couple 15s on Mill Road and one 25 mile an hour sign at uh, on Smith Street that will be facing Lake. Okay. And um, you were going to check on signs for dogs on leash in the park and on the bike path. I'm sorry, what was the question? The signs that say dogs must be on leash for the park and mm -hmm. the bike path. You need more, when, would you like more? Yeah. Council? I thought, I, if I, I have to remember correctly, yeah. if I may, sir, sir. Uh, I thought uh, we requested, or Ms. Eggleston requested more signs along the path and throughout the park. And I think we only have like, what, two or three? And there's dogs out here all the time running around with their owners or doing whatever. And, you can get signs you want. Yeah, and, I write, you know, we, we, yeah, we, it needs to be enforced somehow. I don't know. We, and, and I had spoke with the superintendent once because our uh, main, the bike path, is a 24-7 roadway. So we're trying to figure out how to make sure we, when we put, post the rules, you can't be in the park, but you're allowed to be on this pathway going through. Federal, federal How do you like the car down that path with the road bike? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I couldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, no, no cars, but uh, yeah, someone can walk the path 24-7. Yeah. Oh. Next, I want us to light it down there through the woods. If we miss that, we'll definitely work on it. We do apologize. So the, basically, the signs to keep keep your dog on a leash. Right. Yeah, and then what we'll do is we'll reference the city code underneath that. Similar to how we do the no smoking by the um, playground equipment. Yeah, we have those up there. Yeah, if we drop the ball, we do apologize. We'll we'll get that right away for you. Okay. Anything else, Ms. Eggleston? Um, no, I think that's it. Yeah. Anyone else? All right. All right. Move to adjourn, sir. Yeah. If there's nothing else. Second. Okay. Motion by Mr. Lindsay, second by Ms. Eggleston to adjourn. Councilman Cook? Yes. Councilman Lindsay? Yes. Councilman Roadwold? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Vice Mayor Grimm? Yes. Councilman Bond? Yes. Councilman Eggleston? Yes. Motion to adjourn 7-0. Everybody have a happy Thanksgiving. Good evening. Good evening.